do do be do be do do my people hope everybody's enjoying their weekend um <clears throat> Do me a favor, hit that like button down there. That'd be super sweet. And if you do, uh, I'll automatically enter you to win a Bitsy Bug fishing jig. Automatically. All you gotta do is hit that like button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe too, if you don't mind. That'd be sweet. Um, as soon as I get to 2,000 subscribers, uh, we are going to do a big old giant giveaway. And everybody likes free shit. Also, uh, do me a favor, check out DNK Knives uh excellent excellent uh company they are who is responsible for the knife we're going to show today which is this guy um also dnk has absolutely stepped up their uh sticker game so i'm going to be giving away these stickers as well it's pretty sweet this is my favorite one so those will be uh in the giveaway to trm adam uh, probably a couple other knives. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Um, today we're going to talk about the QSP Hornbill S35VN blade, stone wash, blue carbon fiber handle. Um, typical stuff in the QSP box. You get some stickers, some foam, some plastic, and you get a box. Nothing special, nothing fancy, but the knife is pretty cool. It is a little bit over three inch blades, 3.25 inch blade. Uh, very thin, very slicey as uh, typical for the brand. It is a liner lock, steel liners, um, but it does have some excellent uh, milled carbon fiber that has some micro milling as well, which is pretty nice. Titanium pocket clip. There's the blade steel marking. Um, no billboarding whatsoever, other than a little bit on the clip, which is cool. Excellent action. It is running on bearings. And we have multiple opening uh, deployment options, which is neat. Um, that's, that's all the rage nowadays, so I appreciate it too. Uh, the blade is excellent. Excellent. Paper thin. Very slicey. Um, you do have this window here, and you have the redundant uh, thumb studs, which is probably the only drawback, or the only thing on this knife that I don't particularly care for. Um, that, and I'm not a front flipper guy, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I think it's kind of silly to have thumb studs and the window for opening um, when they are right next to each other, and it's identical uses. Um, but it doesn't kill the knife for me. Um, it is very, very comfortable. You have the 50-50 choil here. Um, feels excellent in the hand. Um, it's not contoured, I would say, but uh, everything is nice, chamfered down really well. Um, the steel liners are milled out, so it is not very heavy at all. Uh, I really need to bring my scales out here, guys. I apologize for that. Um, Overall comfortable. We have a lanyard loop uh, that nobody needs. It is standoff construction. Um, decent jimping that feels useful and it's in a good place. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to call this. This would be a drop clip point kind of deal, I guess. But the grind looks good. The stone washing looks good. Uh, you got plenty of room there for sharpening without getting into the choil too much. Uh, yeah, overall, I dig it. I do like the carbon fiber as well. It's uh, blue and black and maybe a little purple in there. I know it's hard to see on camera, but... And I also like the fact that they went with a milled titanium clip. So, this knife is between 150 and 160 bucks depending on where you buy it if you go to uh, dnk and buy it though you can use this coupon code and get yourself 10 percent off which will make it uh, a little uh more palpable for you when you buy it it'll get you 15 10 to 15 dollars off of it or, i'm sorry <clears throat> 15 to 20 dollars off which is always a good thing everybody likes saving money um, if this was my knife, I would probably take the thumb stud off of it. 
Um, I know there would be a hole there, but that would be okay, no big deal. Because um, I find myself when I flick this knife using the window more than the thumb stud. Some knives uh, do better with the window, some knives do better with thumb studs. I believe this one does everything it needs to do with that. The uh, front flipper works very well. I just suck at front flippers. Um, the jimping grabs your finger just right for that, so that's cool. Your access to the lock bar is excellent. Um, yeah, overall, pretty decent uh, cutting tool. Um, obviously, I have no idea uh, how the heat treat is with the S35VN from QSP. The only uh, blade steel that I've used and have uh, experience with from QSP is the D2, and it did excellent. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know. And since this is not my knife, I'm not going to be able to test that. But, uh... Very fidgety, very comfortable, very light. Um, I am a little bit concerned about the price. Um, not saying that that's bad pricing. Um, it's just a, there's so many options out there. If you really want to have a home run knife and knock it out of the park, you want to make it as uh, competitive as possible. So I think around 125 to 130 would have been the sweet spot for this knife and they probably would sell shit tons of them um, they're gonna say this is gonna be popular knife anyway I believe um, but if you would drop that price just a smidge it would be a home run um, I don't ha let me see what I got in my pocket is my trusty old police force so there's a little bit of a a uh, size comparison so it's your standard EDC pocket friendly sized knife. Um, here it is up against the Zippo. So that gives you an idea of how big it is or how big it isn't. Um, there you go. Uh, I would like to thank DNK for sending me a box of knives to check out. That was very awesome of them. So if you guys don't mind, show them some support. And uh, when you're looking to buy a new knife, at least go check check out their website see what they got there will be a link in the description for that also there will be a link to patreon in the description 100% uh, of all the money that goes through my patreon will go to knives for content and then to be given away eventually um, that is the best way uh, I can explain that and uh, every little bit is very much appreciated we have three dollar tiers on up to uh, higher forty dollar tiers um, if you just, yeah, I'm done plugging my own thing there. All right, guys, that's probably all I got for you. I am going to uh, not be able to carry this and give you all a, another follow-up video on it, but I just wanted to give you uh, the basic first impression kind of deal. The carbon fiber is really cool. Um, with the micro milling, I like that. It kind of has this bat wing uh, deal going on or a bird wing. Um, yeah, but it works good and it's comfortable. Very comfortable. There's lots of options too. I saw a red one. I believe I saw one with a black blade. Lots of options out there. Roughly affordable for uh, what you're getting. Um, it's not a... They're not robbing you blind, but I think if the price went down a little bit, it like I said, it'd be a home run. All right, guys, that's all I got for you right now. I got all kinds of more knives coming up uh, for y'all to check out. Remember, uh, as soon as we get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a big old giveaway. So the faster people subscribe, the faster we can do that. All right, guys, be good to each other. Love each other. Uh, remember, life is short, so don't be a cunt. Later.